Well, the incentive that you have, and, and we want American business to be kept intact. The incentive is these are loans that turn into grants. So if you're a business owner and you're a restaurant, you can hire your people back. You get money for their, their medical. You keep them on the medical plan. You get money for your rent. You get money for your electricity. So you're motivated. We want you to have a business that you can reopen quickly when it's appropriate. So this doesn't cost the business owners anything. You know, when people talk about it, I can't imagine any American worker who had a job, is offered to keep their job, isn't going to want to have it. And, and let me just be clear, we've also talked about this unemployment issue. You can only get unemployment if you don't have a job. So unemployment is intended for those people that are some of the mid-size or larger businesses, and we're very sympathetic to this, that these companies can't afford. And for those people, the enhanced unemployment will be a significant benefit. But we want to make sure 50 percent of the American workforce is small businesses under 500 people. The president, the vice president, the administrator, and I want to make sure this part of the economy is ready and intact when we're ready to reopen. Question for the administrator, if I may. Is there a certain category of small businesses that you're most concerned about, restaurants, air salons, things like that? That's a great question. We're concerned about every small business. There's 30 million small businesses that we're really focused on, and we're working feverishly to make sure that we can provide the available funds to them as quickly as possible. So it's 30 million small businesses, and the other businesses are being dealt with with the PPP, with the uh, Paycheck Protection. There was also the disaster, um, what we call it the injury uh, or economic injury disaster loan. And then there was an advance uh, uh, associated with that particular program as well. So to answer your question, we're concerned about all businesses. And as the Secretary indicated, we're looking at employees being ready, not lost in this process. We're wa we want businesses to stay intact because they represent half the, half the GDP. So if we spend a trillion to support 10 trillion or 11 trillion, I think that's a, a significant investment, and that's what we're focused on. Is there a certain segment that you think I, I is particularly one, vulnerable? Uh, hang on, I just want to make one comment for explanation because I want to make sure everybody out there understands this. If you're an independent contractor, if you're a sole proprietor, you're eligible for this as well. Now, that program won't be up and running until next week. But again, this is a very broad definition of small business. So if you're an independent plumber, if you're an independent contractor, you're covered under this program. Slightly more complicated. You have to come into your bank and give them more information. But starting next week, that part of the program will be up and running. Also, charities. Charities as well, very important. The vice president and president make sure that we covered small charities in this. Does that include churches and religious nonprofits? Um, it, it, it does, although there are some technical issues, but yes, it, it does include faith organizations. Is that under the, that's under the SBA program? This is under the, the PPP, yes, the new SBA program, they, they are covered. Great. Okay.